challenge that we face from a creative organizational perspective is how do we tell incremental pieces of that brand story through the year some of them in social some of them around campaigns some of them around you know just short medium long form copy based on you know some of that can be product centric some of it can be service centric and some of it frankly is very experience based right can we hit you with the right text or email or, or personal type of personalization in your in your daily life that makes you feel value from the experience. Now that requires a much larger creative toolkit. So that gets to, you know, we used to just be focused on the communications program. Now we're migrating from campaign mindset to content platform mindset, right? And that means we have to be thinking about not just communications and content and how much we're producing, we also have to be thinking about the experiences we're building, mobile experiences, online experiences, things in categories like financial services where if 75% of the customer interactions are digital, that puts the onus on your apps and your, your, your experiences more than it does your ad campaign. I think that the challenge in moving to, you know, from campaign to content platform-based mindset, and that's a lot of what we talked about here over the last two days, was, you know, there are lots of constituents that can give you content. You can create it internally, as we've seen Marriott do, developing their own studio. Uh, you can call on your agency partners to create some of it. You know, organizations like Intel are leveraging their own employee base, right? If you have thousands of employees that can contribute stories that align with your brand story, then your job as a marketer becomes more of a ruthless editor. You have to be the editor of saying, what are the right pieces of content as we leverage all of our partners to participate in that content creation process? You have to behave like a ruthless editor so you don't end up just creating noise. It's been great co-hosting here the last couple of days because it's given me sort of access to not only the speakers, but you know everybody in the, in the audience that attended and clearly a higher level of conference attendee here, which is great because you know, you're, you're talking to more marketers about their pain points and what they're facing from an organization standpoint. Um, I think what I heard loud and clear was that the language barrier doesn't exist between agency and marketer. The language barrier exists between the marketer and the rest of the C-suite. So what we as agency partners have to do is help those CMOs put things in terms of business cases and models that can help them go back to a COO or a CFO and explain why we're doing what we're doing. Not just because we got more likes than shares or our brand health measures are up or we affected, you know, sort of our relevance in the market. Those are all soft things that sort of CFOs are going to glaze over. And I think this conference has been good at surfacing some of the real pain points within the CMO's world about how to translate what we're doing now in this always on world to the rest of the C-suite because I think that's where we are. And uh, when you say customer experience or experience design to a CFO or a COO, they're likely going to just glaze over and go, what do you mean? And I think it's all of our responsibility, whether we're on the media side, whether we're on the agency side, or whether we're on the marketer side, to come together to, to close that language gap.